Hi guys, this is take two because take one was crap. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is again, I'm going to do my top five Xbox 360 games. Now, I've got to put them back in order because I haven't messed this up now. Hey guys, been you alright? Yeah, I'm bloody cold. Right, we'll start off with Final Fantasy. 13 part 2, taking the number 5 spot, boom. Now, love Final Fantasy games, storylines are just absolutely amazing. These games for all this generation consoles are superb, some of the cutscenes are amazing. Um, I'm actually redoing Final Fantasy 13 part 1, but that's on PS3. And I'm stuck again, doing all the levelling up and so I can't do it. So if I had both of them, Perhaps this might have been a bit higher in the charts, but I only have the one on the Xbox. Wait for the new one to come out, which looks absolutely superb. If you haven't seen it, um, YouTube it. It's uh, Final Fantasy XIII Lightning's Return, I think. And it looks fantastic. But yeah, that's my number five. That's Joshua being a bit noisy, isn't he? Uh, number four. Res 6, yes. Another, same as Final Fantasy, storylines are brilliant. I've played the Resident Evil since uh, the first one on the PlayStation 1. And then you've got two, uh, Nemesis, uh, Codename Veronica, didn't complete Codename Veronica. Um, I've, then I have had four, didn't complete number four. Number five, done that a few times with the wife. And then obviously six. Now this, I've done two of the story arcs on it. And I still haven't done either one or the one before that. God, it's not easy, isn't he? Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, very good. Like that again. Storyline's amazing. Gameplay is actually really good as well. I, this is probably one of my best Resident Evil games that I've played. If you agree, let me know. If you don't, let me know in your way. Right now, the next one. This is the only one of this series that I own on the Xbox because I got rid of the rest. And it's Modern Warfare 3, of course. You've got to have a Call of Duty game in your top 5, haven't you? Or, if not, Battlefield. I ain't played Battlefield. But yeah, Modern Warfare 3. Now, I think this is so easier to get on with um, compared to the other Call of Duties. I mean, Modern Warfare was the first Call of Duty I played online, and I fell in love with the game series ever since then. Uh, didn't play World of War. Well, I did. The one World of War didn't like it. Modern Warfare 2. Took me a while to get into it, same with Black Ops, but this one, as soon as I went online with it, fantastic. I think it's because with the kill streaks, you've got the ones, the support kill streaks, that's it, I didn't mention that in the last video. And I just grind dying and dying and dying. And with this, you can actually still build up kill streaks, which is brilliant. Storyline, not that good, and I think if the storyline was better, it would probably be number two, to be honest with you. That's that one. Right, number two. Now, God, deja vu. Lots of deja vu on this video. You're probably thinking, oh, that's a DVD. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's a DVD. I haven't got a case for this because it's a, an XBLA game. So it's a downloadable content of The Walking Dead from Telltale Games. Now, this game is superb, it's, I'm doing it for the second time now and I'm on the last episode, it comes in five parts um, I think for those who like the Walking Dead series or the comic books <laughs> shush, I would recommend getting this, I think it, in total it's something like 2100 Microsoft points, it might even be cheaper now um, it's very good, it's one of them games that if you choose to save something in the first episode It'll affect the second episode and the third episode and so on and so on. And the storyline's just brilliant. I won't give anything away, but you do have little <laughs> you will have little snippets. Joshua Yeah. He's playing his wrestling game. Um where was I? I can't remember. But yeah, brilliant game. Absolutely brilliant game. Let me know if you play it as well. Uh, I think there's a few endings I think. So as soon as I've done this one, I know in, spoiler alert, boom, 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 in the episode 5, first time I chose to chop off the main guy's arm, 
this time I've just come off it, I've um, chose to keep it. And there's like little barriers and it's like going up the ladder, he collapses and ugh, all that crap. Yeah, very good. Well observed on two spot, I think. Let me know if you agree. Now the first one's free games. Can you guess what it is? I'll give you a second to comment down below. That Mass Effect. Love Mass Effect. And I think out of all the games, probably out of all the games I've played, this by far is my favourite series. Obviously you've got the first one. Command Shepherd for the win. Second one. And the third one. Now I, I played this because I think I picked this one up for £10 or something like that, quite cheap. Don't know if it's in the back. Um, I fell in love with it. You know, as soon as I could as soon as I found out you can have like relationships with aliens and all this stuff, I thought, yeah, the pervert in me sort of cries and yeah, let's do that. But then actually playing it, the storyline is fantastic. Now, the same with Walking Dead, if you do certain things in this game, it's going to affect this game. If you do certain things in this game, it's going to affect this game. Now, if, if you guys haven't picked up Mass Effect and you like sci-fi games, you like good storylines, you like games that you could play four times and it will be slightly different, it will be different for you. I mean, you can do a female version of Shep. Uh, Shepard, I call him because he's my mate. Um, which, will, for me, changed the story again. I think I played these games, well, definitely these two. I've played these about four times, I think. This one I've done twice. I've done it as normal Shep and Fem Shep. So, yeah, well deserved number one spot. And I think if I can't get past a certain boss on Final Fantasy, I'm going to start Mass Effect again. So let me know what you think, guys. Um, if you agree, if you disagree, if you have a top five Xbox 360 games you'd like to comment down below on, right there, or even do a video response. God knows how you do a video response, but if you want to do a video response, do a video response. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe if you enjoy. Thumbs up so all your other subscribers can see me. And that's about it really. That wraps up. One thing I would like to mention is um I don't know if you've seen my Walking Dead reviews. If you enjoyed them, or you think, hang on, he's missed something out there, there's a guy that does them as well called Mr. Hex. M-I-S-T-A-H-E-X, I think. He's commented on a few of my videos anyway. Um go and check him out. He he his reviews are way better than mine but don't leave me stay with me as well um, his reviews are so much better and he goes into in depth for the characters and all that so check him out as well guys really nice chap as well we've been chatting backwards and forwards as you can see if you have looked through my own previous comments um, we've been having a good old chin wag and he seems like a really nice bloke so yeah thumbs up to you mate wicked awesome and he shouted me out earlier as well great great right guys I shall speak to you soon I might have, be having like two packages arriving this week, so I might do another one enveloping, or I might just leave it till Friday or Saturday and do like a huge unbagging. Right, thank you very much. And like I say, if you think what you like with your Xbox games, if you like my top five, let me know. If not, say why. These are only games that I own, by the way. So they're not games that I have played and traded in or whatnot. These are just the games that I own. Otherwise it probably would have been a different video. Hello. Right, see you soon guys. Bye bye.